Green vaginal discharge is not normal. It can be alarming and concerning for patients when they see it. So today I wanna to educate you on the causes of green vaginal discharge and what may make you more susceptible to having it. Hi, I am Dr. Camila Phillips, a board certified OBGYN, and you're watching the Fem Health Channel. Before we dive in, remember this is for medical education only and is not medical advice. It's important to understand what this type of discharge could mean and if you think you're having an issue, remember to talk to your doctor as soon as possible. There are a few possible causes for green vaginal discharge. The first is a sexually transmitted infection called trichomoniasis. Trichomoniasis is caused by a parasite called Trichomonas vaginalis. The discharge is often a greenish, yellow, frothy, and has a foul smell. Women may also experience itching, burning, and discomfort during intercourse or urination. So what puts you at risk for getting this STI? The risk factors for getting trichomoniasis include having unprotected sex and multiple sex partners. Also, if you've had an STD in the past, your risk is higher. The good news is that trichomoniasis can be treated with antibiotics. Treating this disease is important because an untreated STI can lead to long-term complications for your reproductive health. Another possible cause of green vaginal discharge is bacterial vaginosis, also called BV. This happens when the natural balance in the vagina is disrupted, leading to an overgrowth of harmful bacteria. BV can cause discharge that may be gray, white, green, yellowish. It's often accompanied by a fishy odor. Risk factors for BV include douching, multiple sex partners, new sexual partners, and even smoking. Although BV is not a sexually transmitted infection, having unprotected sex can actually increase your risk of developing BV. Typically, BV is treated with antibiotics as well. The third possible cause of green vaginal discharge is a sexually transmitted infection called gonorrhea. Gonorrhea is also another STI that can cause green or yellowish discharge, and it's caused by a bacteria called Neisseria gonorrhea. Along with discharge, gonorrhea can cause pelvic pain, painful urination, and sometimes bleeding in between periods. In some cases, women may not experience any symptoms at all, which is why it's so important that you get regular STI screenings. You're at higher risk for gonorrhea if you have unprotected sex or a history of previous STIs. Gonorrhea can be treated with a combination of antibiotics, but it's really important to catch it early to prevent complications. One potential complication of gonorrhea is something called pelvic inflammatory disease or PID. Pelvic inflammatory disease is an infection of the female reproductive organs. It is often caused by untreated STIs like gonorrhea or chlamydia. PID can also cause green discharge along with fever, pelvic pain, and irregular menstrual bleeding. Early treatment with antibiotics is key to managing PID. Now, let's talk about something you may not think of, which is having a foreign object in the vagina. Sometimes green discharge can be caused by a foreign object like a tampon or another object left in the vagina for far too long. This can lead to an infection that results in green, foul-smelling discharge. In these cases, the object needs to be removed, and antibiotics may be necessary to clear the infection. Risk factors for this include poor hygiene and forgetting to remove tampons or contraceptive devices in a timely manner. A more common cause of green discharge is a yeast infection. Most yeast infections cause thick white discharge. However, rare strains or secondary bacterial infections can produce a discharge with a greenish tint. Yeast infections also produce other symptoms like itching, burning, and a general pelvic discomfort. Risk factors for yeast include taking antibiotics, which can disrupt the natural flora in your vagina, as well as conditions like uncontrolled diabetes and a weakened immune system. Antifungal treatments and sometimes an antibiotic can help resolve these infections. Now that we've covered the causes of green vaginal discharge, let's talk 
in general about risk factors that can increase your chances of getting these infections. First, unprotected sexual activity is a major risk factor for many infections, including STIs like trichomoniasis, gonorrhea, chlamydia, basically the infections that lead to PID. Always practice safe sex to reduce your risk. Secondly, poor vaginal hygiene can increase the likelihood of infections. So always remember, take out your tampon and avoid things like douching. Douching disrupts the natural balance of bacteria in your vagina. Third, a weakened immune system can make you more susceptible to infections. This includes people with conditions like diabetes or those taking medications that suppress the immune system. And finally, multiple sex partners can increase your risk and exposure to STIs. So it's important to have open conversations with your partner or partners and stay on top of your regular screening. If you're experiencing green discharge, it's important to discuss this with your healthcare provider. While it could be due to an infection, getting the right diagnosis and timely treatment is really key to protecting your reproductive health and preventing complications. Thanks for watching today's video. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you next time.